Hey, how's it going? Uh, just picked up a pretty awesome uh, 22 caliber uh, Henry AR-7 U.S. Survival Rifle. Pretty cool. Um, pretty inexpensive uh, for a rifle. Um, it's about uh, 200 bucks, you know, plus all the other fees and, and whatnot. But um, you know, one of the things I I really liked about this, which which led me to buying it, was the fact that uh, everything folds up and disassembles and fits. In here, I shouldn't say folds up, disassembles and fits inside the buttstock and makes everything all compact. So it ends up being that size. Um, perfect for, you know, camping, hiking, backpacking, um, you know, in a vehicle if that's allowed in your state. Um, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. Uh, like I said, everything disassembles and fits, you know, into the buttstock, which is waterproof. Uh, the seal here is apparently waterproof. Um, I haven't thrown mine into any bodies of water or anything like that. I just got it. But I've seen other reviews where people have put them in swimming pools to test it out and stuff like that. And uh, apparently they do float and they are waterproof. So that's another advantage to this thing, which is pretty cool. Um, everything's pretty compact and small, which is another benefit. Um, like I said, everything fits into the end there. And I'll, and I'll show you how that works in a second. Um, assembling everything is pretty easy, um, which I'll also show you in a second here. Um, like I said, the buttstock here is a nice, you know, hard, sturdy, waterproof um, plastic, um, polymer or something, I would imagine. Um, here's the action and the receiver. Uh, pretty awesome, real heavy duty. You know, that's metal. It's not plastic or anything like that. Um, one of the things I really like about the receiver, too, which makes it, you know, compact, which I'm sure is part of the design to, to get it to fit in the buttstock, but uh, the lever kind of folds in and comes out. Which is great, which uh, obviously makes, um, you know, cocking the rifle, you know, super easy. The fact that it comes out, slides in to fit in there. Magazine holds eight rounds. Um, obviously, it's unloaded, which brings me to my point. One thing you want to do is always make sure your firearm's unloaded uh, before you disassemble it or, you know, assemble it for that matter. Always check. Um, I should have said that before, but yes, this is unloaded, of course. Um, the barrel is uh, 16 and a half inches. Uh, one thing that's pretty awesome about this barrel is it does come dipped, um, so pretty rust resistant. I mean, you'd have to be really careless and, and really hard on the rifle, I think, to get it to rust. So it does come, you know, dipped, which is nice. Um, and you know, like I said, that'll help uh, prevent rust and, and other uh, stuff like that. So everything fits together like so. Um, the stock here, obviously, you can see it's a little. Um, you know lopsided in shape that's to uh, obviously make room for the storage inside the butt there and I'll show you how that, uh, that works in a second so this is pretty easy the receiver just slides on and the way you get it to tighten up there, there's a screw on the bottom which I'll show you here in just a moment as you can see I'm doing this one-handed so it's forgive me a second but it really is that easy to where you can do it one-handed so um, ta-da uh, there's a screw right there on the bottom a little thumb screw there and that stays in place you don't have to worry about it falling out or anything and that holds the receiver to the stock pretty awesome all right next comes the barrel obviously now you can see there's a little groove right there above the threads there we go um, it lines up here on the barrel there's a little eye Eye there, you can see it right there on top. Ding. So that lines right up there in that groove. And to make sure it's seated correctly, I like to just push it, get a little pushback from the action spring there, make sure everything's nice and nice and tight. And it twists on like so. Pretty easy. Bang! And you're assembled. Boom. Pretty nifty. All right, and it disassembles just as easily. So I'll show you that. And like I said, uh, why we have it like this. One thing you can notice here is the shape. So it is funny shaped, which you'll get used to, you know, as you uh, as you mess around with it. But it is funny. Now I'm gonna tighten it the rest of the way, uh, just so you can. I'm gonna show you something else. There we go. Now you can see here, it does look like there's a gap in between the stock and the receiver there is not actually that's just how it's made you know to, for the storage so I wanted to show you that 
so that way you can see that it does fit flush against the receiver. And obviously you never want to point a firearm at yourself, so I'm pointing kind of off to the side there. And like I said, you can see it fits flush. Now the sights are pretty awesome. You can see there it's a peephole sight. I'll try and get the... Oh, there we go. Bang. Peephole sight. Takes a minute to get used to if you've never worked with them before, if you've never shot with them before. Um, but this thing is pretty accurate right out of the box. So I've adjusted mine a little bit, but for the most part, it's, it's pretty accurate right out of the box. And um, like I said, it disassembles just as easily. I'll show you that. Let me unscrew the barrel here. Comes right off like that. And then, like I said, you just unscrew the thing there, the screw there, and the receiver will come right off. Pretty awesome, and like I said, everything fits compactly into the stock, which you probably heard me say a couple of times now. Obviously, the magazine oh, fits in there like that. Um, I'll move there. So everything fits nice and compact inside there, which is pretty great. Everything has its own place, and it closes up nicely. And then the barrel slides in like so. Bang. Room for two magazines. There's the other one. One and two. Boom. Buttstock fits on the end there. Clips right on. It takes a little bit of effort to get this on and off, which I really like too. So you don't have to worry about this thing just randomly coming off, you know, while you're walking around with it. Um, so yeah, just clips on the end there. And there you have it. The Henry AR7 22 caliber uh, survival rifle. I recommend it. And it is a great buy, especially for the price. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Thanks.